Yasu Legends, Yasu Superstars, it's Peps, and I'm here to bring you the Round 12 Losers in a massive round of AFL football. Hey, if you haven't been a loser recently, and just like Dennis Leary said, I'm a loser, baby, and you can be a loser this Thursday night as the Port Adelaide Power take on Carlton Thursday, 7.30 p.m. at the Adelaide Oval. Team's obviously not out at this particular moment in time, and we don't really care because it's all about what the eyes and the heart see. And at the moment, we've got two teams that haven't been playing the greatest football, but haven't been playing the worst of football. Portland pretty much had the bye last week playing North Melbourne. And Carl, what a great win against the Gold Coast Suns at home at Marvel Stadium. But this is why I'm going with Port Adelaide. I just think they needed a little bit more. They haven't been super convincing over the last couple of weeks. They just scraped across the line against uh, uh, Hawthorne, and they just got across the line by a good 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 points against North Melbourne. And I think just at home, at the Adelaide over, they're just going to be a little bit too strong for a Carlton team that really can't afford to lose too many more games. But I think Port and Hinkley's men will take this one out and watch out for Rosie and Butters because they are going to be spreading the love all across the Adelaide Oval. And that means Carlton, unfortunately, are going to be a loser once again. Rightio, what a cork of a game this is going to be. Collingwood, Western Bulldogs, 7.40 p.m. at Marvel Stadium. Interestingly enough, it's Collingwood's home game. Doesn't mean anything to me because the Western Bulldogs will win this one. They were really stiff. Last week against Sydney, if it wasn't for injuries, they would have taken that game out. We know Norton's not going to be playing, and that's okay. I still think that they've got enough firepower up front. And Collingwood have just been smashed with injuries. They're going to be low on stars, and that's why the Western Bulldogs will take this one out. Collingwood, are unfortunately, going to be teetering on being outside the eight, and will injuries take the massive toll on their chances of going back-to-back? -back? I personally think it will, especially for the next few weeks and because it is so tight in the final eight. Collingwood are going to lose this one and I'm pretty much thinking this is going to be three or four goals at a minimum. Right here, let's get into Saturday, 1.45pm at the MCG. This team has been sensational. The other team has been brilliant. Probably the most improved teams over the last month. Hawthorne versus Adelaide. Who do you go with? Well, it simply comes down to, this one is at the MCG, I'm going with Hawthorne. If it was at the Adelaide Oval, I would be going with Adelaide. But Hawthorne have been beautiful in the way that they've been playing football over the last number of weeks, and they are going to shake up the eight. And they've still got a bit of a chance to make it. You've got to remember, a couple of teams last year, um, including uh, GWS and Carlton, came from practically nowhere at this time of the year to make a run towards finals. And one of these two teams could potentially have that in 2024. But I'm going with Hawthorne to take this one out. So that means Adelaide, unfortunately, you're going to be a loser. Is it going to put a dent in your finals chances? Definitely. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was a flipper. I'm going with Hawthorne by less than two goals, but that could be the upset of the weekend with Adelaide pinching that one. But I will say that they are going to be losing this one. All right. I never thought I would actually say this, but the West Coast Eagles versus St Kilda, Saturday, 4.35 p.m. at Optus Stadium. I'm simply going with St Kilda to lose. They were atrocious against Melbourne. Mind you, the Ds weren't that flash in that first half of anyone but decided to watch that game whatsoever. But West Coast, they smashed the Ds. They got smashed last week against Adelaide, but at Optus Stadium on their home deck, they are a completely different killer fish, and they are a... Let's just say they're a shark and not a minnow swimming around hunting. They are going to swoop down on St. Kilda and they are going to demolish them. I'm going to say a five-goaler. Harley Reid's going to have a day out. Flying Brian, he'll have a day out. And I think West Coast, five-goal St. Kilda. The misery for Ross Lyon continues and, unfortunately, another season down the gurgler. All right, 7.30 p.m. Saturday at GMHBA Stadium. Geelong versus Richmond. Geelong, they're going to win. Only reason is, is because it is at GMHBA Stadium. Richmond were really good in the Dreamtime game last week, and I think that surprised us a lot in how they turned up. And I'd almost say if it wasn't for Ben Mackay and uh, Jordan Ridley down in that back line, they probably would have pinched it. But Geelong at home are going to be way too strong, and Richmond, unfortunately, going to be back on that, that losing margin. It just depends on how far. If they can bring the pressure like they did last week, it could actually be a tight contest. But I don't see Geelong losing five in a row, especially at home. And that is why I'm going with Richmond to lose 
And I'm saying by a decent margin of at least five to six goals, uh, unfortunately, for the Tigers. Another week of misery continues. All right. Sunday, 1 p.m. This is a trade park in Alice Springs. It's Melbourne versus Fremantle. My boys versus Frio. This is, I think, could be the game of the round. And I would also say that this is an eight-point game in itself. The Ds were pretty average in the first half, came home with a wet sail. Fremantle, really average in the first half, came home with a wet sail. You have Fremantle who are really good defensively. Melbourne have been really good defensively as well too. But I just think that Melbourne are able to compensate with Lever not being down there. I think that their back line is working really nice. And mind you, Fremantle's midfield against Melbourne's midfield is going to be a battle for the ages. I'm thinking Melbourne by probably less than two goals and Fremantle will, will definitely lose this one. But don't be surprised if this could be another draw or Fremantle flip this by a goal. But I'm going for the Ds by less than two goals, but this could be my flipper game for the weekend. So Fremantle, you're going to lose. Uh, and Melbourne have a pretty good record up there at Traeger Park as well. So it's going to be a corker. All right. Last game for the weekend because there are four teams who have got the bye. And you could almost say it is a belter of a game to finish the weekend off. Gold Coast versus Essendon, Sunday, 4 p.m. at um, the former Metricon Stadium. I think it's personal finance stadium up there in the Gold Coast. Hey, Essendon cannot put a foot wrong at the moment. Uh, and Gold Coast, they can put every foot wrong. We know that they are a different beast at home compared to the way they are away. We saw what they did for two weeks in Darwin, came down to Melbourne, got smashed by Carlton. Up there in the Gold Coast, they are awesome. And I think that they are going to beat Essendon and start that little bit of a, um, how could I say, thought process of, oh, my goodness, is it happening again for the Bombers? They are sitting second, but they have an absolutely putrid percentage and they've got a pretty hard run coming into the back end of the season. So I don't think Gold Coast will fall over again, especially at home. They love playing up at their home deck, and I'll take this one out, but don't be surprised if Essendon, if they do lose this, will be less than two goals as well too. So there's going to be a lot of games over the weekend. The margins are going to be quite small because that is just how tight things are across the top end of the ladder. Brisbane, North, Sydney, and GWS have all got the buy, so they can sit back and watch everything unfold in front of them, just like you will over this weekend, which is round 12 of AFL Action Radio. Make sure that you join me and J-Dog every Monday night, 8 p.m. on YouTube and Facebook, and also on every podcast host you can to lace out the live AFL show because it's how you want your footy. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell because we're bringing you awesome content, awesome losers every week, and uh, you really can't do much better than that too. So hopefully your team doesn't lose, uh, but if it does, hey, it's only a game. There's more to life in most cases. I'm Peps. Have a great weekend.